Hey guys, we're here with Interloper. This is video two of a little series on how to beat the expert AI. When the expert AI has a significant advantage to start with. So the first video we saw one where the AI had the most extra territory at the start. That's pretty big. This is the second biggest advantage you can have, which is having a destroyer to start. This destroyer is worth four drones. And basically he's unstoppable in the early game because we can't get enough drones to actually kill him. You need to hit him with three drones Right in a row, three hits to kill him. Pretty tough to do. So we're gonna need to avoid conflict and we're gonna exploit the AI's inability to understand positional play. Specifically, it's inability to defend its uh, supply, its power lines effectively. So it's taking this uh, factory here, which has one power line here and the other power line on the other side. So we can just walk in and cut it off. Actually, if we were a little bit faster, we would have even just claimed it before this was done. But we were a little bit slow. That's fine. We're going to go around, the, go around the other side. And his destroyer is just sitting here. If his destroyer came around to protect this power line, uh, we're dead in the water. It, even if this drone at this late hour came up and defended the power line, really good for him. But in fact, we're going to just cut off this factory and take it. And he's going to look very sad about that. So you like empty squares are really important in this game if they have power lines on them. They are as important or even more important than buildings themselves. Like he captured this and he didn't need to. This does nothing for him. That's something AI is often very bad at. They'll claim the foundry and they can't use it for anything good. So here he comes, but notice that they're they're trailing each other. They're not in the same square. If these were in the same square, then these three hits. The first one would kill the drone, I think. And then the destroyer would get hit. But instead, the come, destroyer's coming in first, and we're going to be able to use three guys and just punch him out. Boom. So that's now equalized his initial advantage because he came in by himself. you, you got to bring your friends, our little drone buddies. Bring the whole gang right in, right? Uh, th at this point, he's done. Uh, we have four production two here and two here, and we're ahead two units. He's got like nothing happening. But the bot doesn't give up, and I, it's actually kind of annoying because the bot is not gonna have a chance to come back. But he's still gonna try. The bot is really good at finding out weak points or that are not guarded, and just kind of hammering in there. I don't know what he's doing here, he's just sitting. And that doesn't make sense because my sentinel's way over here. I'm not going to be able to claim it on him. There's no reason to camp on this. Um, he's much better off, you know, poking here, maybe trying to cut my supply line here, or even coming across the middle and trying to come in here. But he's just sitting. I guess he. Oh, I know what I know what happened. It's because he wanted to go through this square and he was fixated on it. So he's willing to wait as long as he needs to do, needs to wait for more units to come so he could achieve his short-term goal. So really, if we put a second drone here, he would have just waited another cycle before he can kill both drones. So that's a big weakness you can exploit. It's very single-minded, and it's going to wait until it gets to where it needs to go. Um, so yeah, he's, he's seen this weakness. Good for him. He's going to come up in the middle, try to take out the power. And I was slow to react to this. These drones didn't get there in time, so little sloppy. He's really trying frantically to get back in. And yeah, these guys are, are silly. What you gotta do to stop the bot at this, at this stage in the game is just try to put a drone on every square you can get. Like where, any place that you can come out of warp, you wanna put a drone there if you can. So yeah, like here and here I'm guarding, here I'm guarding, here I'm guarding. I'm trying to guard all my bases. And then he just can't get any more territory that way. Yeah, got one here. I left a spot here and he actually came right in there. So they see everything and they see it immediately. That's where they're strong. Uh, they don't have reaction time. If there's a weakness in your defense, they'll just probe it and they'll get in there. So this actually drags it out a fair bit. We can just win on territory after that. Again, he's now he's waiting. He's trying to go through this square, but there's a drone there, and he has no units, so he'll, he's never going to leave here. He's just going to sit. Um, so he's stuck. 
So that's it. That's the second uh, most difficult expert bot challenge. And the rest of them are all easier than this. So if you understand what happened here and why this, this bot shit the bed so hard, uh, you can beat the other ones just as easily. And that's it. Thanks for watching.